Hi everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black and today we were going to be making two cards featuring some adorable critters in love and both of the cards today feature the same layout and stamps from this set from Penny Black's newest collection Love and Happiness and this is one of our transparent stamp sets 30-783 My Love and I think the critters on this set are so adorable and here is a look at the cards that we will be making today so you can see that these are pretty clean and simple cards these are five and a half inches by five and a half inches so fun square card size and I am going to do a mix of paints using Arteza gouache paints and Ranger Distress Ink reinkers used as watercolors and I'll give you a look at my palette in just a minute and just a reminder I will have a full supply list up on screen at the very end of the video so if you want to look at this in detail say any specific colors that were used, stamp item numbers, all of that will be listed. Just hit pause and you can check it out in further detail. So what I have here is just a palette I bought I think at Walmart and on the right hand side I have put Arteza gouache paints and on the left hand side I've put my favorite Distress Ink Reinkers, which I will use as watercolors. And that palette of colors, those exact colors, will be listed up on screen at the very end of the video. And what's great is both of those types of uh, paints, the reinkers as well as the gouache paints, even if the gouache paints harden, they can be you can re-wet them with the water on your paintbrush and use them again. So this palette I am going to be using for a lot of different cards and I just slide it into a shelf in my crafty area and save it whenever I'm ready to paint. I have all my favorite colors ready to go. Now I have pre-stamped this image onto Canson 140 pound cold pressed watercolor paper and I've used Memento Toffee Crunch ink. And what I love about this ink is it allows me to get the look of no line watercoloring without too much pressure. So a little bit of that ink will continue to show through and guide me as I'm painting and also um, guide the eye once this is painted. So if I don't shade everything perfectly or um, something blends into another area, you can still tell what it is. I don't end up with a big blob in any places. So it's very forgiving and a, a so very, for me, a more low-key relaxing way to do no line watercolor. So I wanted to start out with my background because I did know for sure that I wanted this to be blue. I find that the gouache paints are very nice for real soft, cloudy, um, colored background. And then I will move on to the teddy bear. I did dry that background before I moved on to the teddy bear. Now, if you've never used the gouache paints before, they are like what I would describe as kind of an opaque watercolor paint. So they are a little bit sort of thicker and more opaque. Now the more water you add to them, then the less opaque they will feel and the more they're going to just feel like a watercolor. And the less water that you use with them, then they are going to feel more like an acrylic paint. Or if you use them directly out of the tube when they're still real wet and you know squishy like an acrylic paint, then they are going to go on very opaque. So mine have been in the palette and they've dried and now I am just mixing water with them and painting them on. And I think they just give it these bears, just such a lush, soft, um, sort of creamy, um, velvety texture to them. I went in with my lightest color, then I put my darkest color in where I wanted the shadows, and then I'm just going back with water to blend those two together. I work in sections and I try not to do them that are right next to each other so they don't start uh, bleeding into the other section. So you can see here I'm going to dry that uh, then go in and repeat that same process. Now I have sped, sped up the video here otherwise you would be watching me paint all day long. <laughs> you probably don't want to do that so um, I have sped things up here but this is a pretty quick painting process and it is a um, just a very relaxing way to paint. I find that the gouache paints are very forgiving and then the Distress Ink Reinkers used as watercolors can really add that punch of color where you want it. So like on those cheeks I just dabbed a little Distress Ink Reinker in a light pink and am blending that out with water. And here I am just darkening up and painting those teddy bear arms. 
and now I will move on to the branch. So I wanted the branch just to be a darker color. So here I am using the Distress Ink Reinker and just using that as a watercolor. So just picking it up with my paintbrush and blending it out with water and painting in that branch. I used a very fine liner Pit Artist pen, which I will have listed in that supply list up on screen at the very end of the video, to trace over the string from the balloon before I started painting. And that's a waterproof pen, so that way um, I can paint here and not worry about any of that bleeding. But it's a very easy way to capture that detail. For me, sometimes that's easier to do with a pen than with a paintbrush. My hand just seems to be a bit steadier when I use a pen. Now I'm going to go back in and just darken up a few of these areas. I decided I wanted that branch to just have more contrast with the teddy bear to be quite a bit darker. So I just add another layer of ink on top. Now I love that with this stamp set, you could certainly use these to create Valentine's or love themed cards, anniversary cards. But they're also great just for thinking of you cards. So this one with a balloon could even be a birthday card. I think the sentiment I stamped on this one is follow your heart. So you could almost use this for a graduation or a special event card. Now for these flowers, I'm just painting them in with that gouache paint. You can see there how it has a nice opaque look. I'm going about every other petal with one of the pinks and then I will do the other um, petals in between with a different color pink. So this is a quick way to paint uh, little flowers in. If you don't want to worry about doing a lot of shading, you can just do every other petal with a different shade of pink. So one is kind of more of a bubblegum pink and one is a brighter pink. I'm not worried about things being perfectly painted in. If there's a little bit of white showing, I think that just sort of adds to the charm and that it's a hand painted look, not a printed look. And I'm going to use some of these same colors here on the heart that the bear is holding. You can see there how forgiving and how fun it is to paint with those gouache paints. Um, they do really give that opaque look where you want it, like on that heart that the bear is holding. It's just a very different look. Now here I'm using those same colors but with more water. So you'll see that it is a lighter sort of a I just think breathier, just a lighter, fresher look to it than the heaviness on the heart that the bear is holding. But they all tie together because it is the same colors that I'm using. And I can add in those touches of the Distress Ink Reinkers wherever I want to just have a, a much more saturated or brighter color. Here on the rose up in her hair, which I think is such a cute touch on this bear, I just put down those same pinks again. You can also see on the bear's eyes and nose, I used that same fine liner pen just to color those in before I began painting. You could wait till the end as well, but I think they look so much more real and cuter when the eyes and the nose <laughs> are colored in. So I just like to look at them if I remember to color them in first, to look at them like that while I'm painting the entire image. Just adding the center here to those flowers so the petals are dry so I can go in and just add that center. I'm sort of brightening it up there with a little bit of the Distress Ink Reinker Spice Marmalade color. Now I did stamp this balloon a second time and I'm going to paint it in with the same colors. And you'll see here in just a minute why I have done that. I wanted this to kind of pop out beyond the edge of the frame once I put the card together and you'll see that here in just a second. And this is a nice touch if you're making a very clean and simple card that has a lot of white space. Just a little something extra can really finish it off. So next I'm going to use our Ribbon Stackers Creative Die. I love this layout. I actually made a Christmas card with this layout and I love using this die for any season. And I've cut that from five and a half by five and a half inch paper. I use watercolor paper just to tie it all together and I'm taking just an exacto knife here and I am just very carefully cutting around this little bear's feet and you'll see here that I can extend them beyond that frame that I have die cut that's going to go over this panel. So you can see I can just lift those up there. So there is that frame that I cut with the ribbon stackers die 
and how I can slide the little bear's feet just to overhang that ever so slightly. And that's what I'm talking about with those little touches that you can add that really make a difference to a clean and simple card. So here I just taped on the back of it that ribbon stackers piece so you get a really nice inlay and I've stamped the sentiment onto the front as well. I mounted that to, to my card with foam squares. Then I added a little foam square there and here I just fussy cut that heart balloon out and I can also add that now extending beyond the edge of the frame. I could have also um, trimmed that with the X-Acto knife but I like the dimension that that gives for the entire balloon like it's taking off. And here is a look at that finished card. Now I followed all of these same techniques and used the same paints in my palette and that same stamp set, the 30-783 My Love with the adorable critters to make another card. And I've included all of that footage here for you to take a look at. This time to extend beyond that frame, I'm using some of our creative dies to do that. Those flowers, that's our flower frolic creative die. So I'm gonna speed things up here, add a little music and I'll be back at the end.
and here is a look at that finished card design. I thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and also ring the bell so you'll be notified whenever we upload new videos to our channel. You can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, as well as our website and blog. And I will link for all of those for you down in the YouTube description box below, as well as links to all of the stamps and dies I have used on these cards. Thanks again for watching. Happy stamping.